Hello everyone, my name is Mayank Sakuja and I'm a doctoral student at the University of South Carolina. Today I'll be presenting my research on the content analysis of COVID-19 information on outpatient clinic websites. COVID-19 has impacted the way health systems function, leading to an increase in online searching for health information. The goal of this research was to examine the content and readability of COVID-19 information as communicated by outpatient clinics. For that purpose, we examined the websites of 33 outpatient clinics in South Carolina with whom we are currently working on a separate health literacy initiative. To achieve the aims of the study, we selected three COVID-19 related content sections, which had a minimum of 10 sentences from each clinic website. To locate the content sections, we followed a systematic multi-step approach. We coded for clinic type, content section focus, source of information in the content section, target population, mobilizing information, use of graphics, and language translation ability. Pre-validated instruments were used to calculate readability scores. COVID-19 information was available on 26 clinic websites. 70 content sections were analyzed, of which 30 were unique. Almost half of the content sections focused on change in clinic policies due to COVID-19. Majority of the content sections lacked target population, translation ability, author information, and non-specified race or ethnicity. Mean FRE score across 70 content sections was 53.4. Mean FKGL was 9.9 .9, and mean smog was 9.5. COVID-19 information communicated by specialty clinics and information that focused on clinic policies were written at grade levels of 12 and 10 respectively. In conclusion, COVID-19 information was communicated at a grade level higher than the recommended sixth grade, indicating potential comprehension challenges for information users. There is potential for clinics to use website design and plain language tools to develop and design culturally appropriate website content for effective communication. Thank you for your time. You may also visit this website to learn more about the intervention.